Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use formulas in the attributes of the attribute manager. In this empty scene, let's create a bunch of cubes. I'm just going to make some cubes and double them up. There we go. We have eight cubes over here. And what I want to do is distribute them on the X axis using a predefined value one after the other. Here I can use a variable called num. And this indicates the position of each object in the object manager. So the first one will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so forth. So if I take this and multiply it by, let's say, 250, I'm going to get them spaced out by 250 centimeters each. Now, another thing I could do here is randomize their y values using another formula. Now, if you're wondering what kind of formulas we can use, don't forget that you can go over here, right-click, and uh, show help. And when the help comes up, look at this link over here. It says note also the expanded formula. Click on this. And here you will see all the available formulas and attributes. They've got some examples down here and what you can do. But let's uh, take a look at these and see what we can do over here. I want to randomize these, and I want them to go uh, in a random Y position between 250 upwards and 250 downwards. Now, there is a variable called X, and X is the current value of whatever this field is. We're going to use X in any of these. It doesn't mean that because we are changing the Y position, we are going to use a Y variable. Lowercase X is what we are going to use anywhere to retain the current value. Now, I'm going to add to this a random number and parenthesize it with 500, which means it's going to give us a random number between 0 and 500. But then everything is going to be above the 0y position. We need to go to the end and subtract 250. So now we're going to have some of them above the 0, some of them below the 0 point. And there we go. Now, let's assume that I'm happy with this, but I realize that anything that's under the 0y, so let's go to one of my front views, press H, there we go, and I'm going to put on my display. So any of these cubes that has a y position that is less than 0, I want to bring it all the way up to 0 and just leave these where they are. And we can do this by using an if statement. If you go to the help and just go all the way down here, you will see that it has a condition and it shows you what it is. Let's go and type it in very quickly. If, and parentheses, the current value x is smaller than zero, then semicolon, set that value to zero. Otherwise, that's another semicolon, just set it to the value it already has. So we add the x, close the parentheses and press enter. So these are just a few examples of how you can use expressions, formulas, and variables in the Attribute Manager. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.